Okay, in this video we are going to 3D model a M12 nut. I'm assuming you will have created your working directory and navigated to your Creo folder and pressed OK. Once you've done that, then you go ahead and choose new and we'll call this M12 underscore nut and then press OK. And that creates your working in 3D environment. OK, to start this model, we're going to choose the top plane. So choose that by clicking on it, it should go green. And then come up to the top and choose Sketch. Your environment should turn into a two-dimensional drawing, if not, you must click this button which is sketch view you will also find it here which is sketch view and that will put it into its 2d flat plane okay to model the nut we are going to go to the palette and this is where we can import a shape which we are looking for the six-sided hexagon so you can double click that and then select um, anywhere on there and we will use dimensions to position it in a moment. We're scaling, our scaling factor will be one. Okay, so for every um, one millimeter is what we are working in. And then you are going to click OK. Okay, we're going to zoom in and you will see that um, it is one at the moment so um, we're just going to make that 10 here so it's a little bit bigger and we're going to zoom out and we want to position it using these dimensions okay so here on this one we are going to put zero and that will move it across and then here we are going to do um, uh, well, actually, um, we'll, put, we'll put five in here for now, and that will move it up towards the center. Now, before I move it up into the position, I'm going to change a dimension. I'm going to use a dimension tool, and I'm going to left click on this top of the hexagon, and left click the bottom of this hexagon, and then press my mouse scroll button here. Now this gives me 17.321, but it is a conflict between the other dimension I've given at 10 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the 10 millimeter one, which then allows me to set this. And we're going to set this distance to 19 millimeters. Okay, now I'm going to use this to center my drawing so 9.5 okay if I do 9.5 it's going to move that down if I do a minus 9.5 it should move that up so I've now created the hexagon size. We know an M12 bolt has a dimension from one side to the other of 19 millimeters. I'm now going to draw in that circle and I'm going to draw out a circle and I'm going to dimension that. Now that I'm going to dimension at 10 millimeters. And then I'm going to tick OK. I'm now going to extrude this. Now I'm going to extrude this to a depth of 10 millimeters but 
here under depth I'm going to choose symmetric which means that it moves both sides of the center and we're making that 10 millimeters and then I'm going to tick OK okay so now I'm going to choose the top surface um, and then I'm going to do a sketch onto the top surface this time we're going to use the circle and the center and point we're going to come to the middle we're going to click and drag out until it references the edge which you see the blue icon so I'm going to click there and I've created a sketch on that surface. I'm now going to press OK and now I'm going to choose Sweep. Now that I've chosen Sweep, I'm going to go to Sketch. And here now I have a reference point. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit closer. And I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to start there by left clicking and then click a line uh, diagonally over okay and then I'm going to disconnect I'm now going to use the dimension tool to set that at 30 degrees and then I'm going to get the line tool again and go down to the end of it click and I want to continue it and you will be able to continue it there we go it locks in to be a continuous line of constraint uh, to keep it so I'm going to go uh, through the model I'm going to click and then I'm going to come up and you can see where it's in line so I'm going to click and then join it again click and then disconnect using the scroll wheel Okay, so I've created a 30 degree um, drawing. I'm just going to cut through. I'm now going to press OK. And that was now swept around. But here I'm going to remove material. So we've got that happening. I'm going to remove the material which then takes the or chamfers the top of the bolt and then I'm going to press OK um, and then we'll send the recenter that. Okay so we've now got that feature but we want the feature underneath. So here we can choose sweep we then come up to mirror and then we choose our reference which is the middle plane which is the top plane and that will put that mirror that feature from one side to the other we now have that chamfer detail on both sides of the model and then we're going to press OK Just going to put it into standard orientation and then we're ready for the next part of this tutorial which will be to create the helical sweep. So now I'm going to create the screw thread for the M12 nut. Uh, in order to do this I'm going to go up to the sweep function, click down and choose helical sweep. This then asks us to create a profile. Um, so we're going to define, define a plane to do a sketch on. So I'm going to choose define. I'm going to choose the uh, right plane and then choose sketch. So now I'm going to use the fourth 
function along, uh, which was clip model. No, sorry, uh, fifth one along. Clip model, and we can see inside here. And I'm going to draw, um, I'm going to reference first. So I'm over here to the reference. I'm going to choose reference, and I'm going to reference this inside surface. And then I can close that. And then I'm going to draw a line which is now in line with my reference. I'm going to start it above. It's important that you start above the nut and then down and finish below the nut. And then use the mouse uh, scroll wheel to disconnect. So that was the first part. The second part is we're going to create a center line um, on our center here. Um, and then we are going to tick OK. Now it offers us a pitch. Now the pitch I'm going to put in here is 1.75. And now we are going to create the sketch. Now this is our point here where we, our sketch will start. And I'm going to choose the circle tool. And I'm going to click on there and drag out a circle. And now I'm going to dimension that circle as 1.5. Okay, so 1.5 millimeter diameter. And then I'm going to press OK. And you can see the helical sweep. I put that into the middle has happened and it's gone through and it has started below and gone above which followed our uh, profile line but this time we are going to remove material and leaving us our internal screw thread now that completes the modeling of the M12 bolt uh, nut. Sorry. Um, now, obviously, we can change um, certain parameters. We can change the pitch, and we can change the diameter that caused this cutaway. Our diameter was 1.5. We can also change it so it's not a circle, and it could have been a triangle, creating a triangular groove running through. OK, I'm going to put that into standard orientation and then I'm going to tick OK and that completes the modelling of the M12 